God can bless you. Mungu anaweza kukubariki. And he can bless you when you see him as your source. Amen. Kama unaweza kumuona kama chanzo chako cha baraka. As long as you see the west as your source. Mradi tu unapoona magharibi, watu wa magharibi ama nchi za magharibi kama ni zenye zina zinaweza kukusaidia. As long as you see America as your source. Mradi unaona tu America ndio chanzo chako. You will fail. Utaanguka. Because God is your source. Kwa sababu Mungu ni chanzo chako cha He is your provider. Mungu ndiye upeana. And when you look to him, he will do it. Unapomtazamia yeye atafanya. God's way is not a way of dependence on man. Njia ya Mungu sio njia ya kutegemea mwanadamu. God's way is a dependence on the creator. Njia ya Mungu ni kutegemea muumbaji. That's why tithing is so powerful. Niposa nasema kutoa zaka ni jambo la maana sana. Because tithing is based on faith in the promises of the creator. Kwa sababu kutoa zaka kunategemea imani. And it is based on God's plan to maintain his ministry here on earth. Na ni huu ni mpango wa Mungu kuendeleza kazi ya Mungu duniani. What would happen if when you go home you would teach your people about time? Kila ambacho kitatendeka ni kienda nyumbani fundisha watu jinsi ya kutoa zaka. And your people would start to tithe. Na watu wako wataanza kutoa. It wouldn't be very much money to start. Haitakuwa sio pesa nyingi ukianza. But you're putting into practice the word of God. Lakini unatendeza kazi ya unatendeza neno la Mungu. And your people will start to give. Na watu wako wataanza kutoa. And your ministry will begin to prosper because now you have more money to work with and more time to give to the ministry. Na huduma yako itafanikiwa kwa sababu kuna pesa ambayo watu wanatoa. And people will be encouraged to give because they see your example. If my pastor can have faith to give, I'll have faith. Na watu wako watainuliwa kwa sababu wanaona wewe ni mfano ukitoa hata wao watatoa. And as the people of God start to give in faith, God starts to bless. Na watu wa Mungu wanapotoa kwa imani, Mungu anaanza kubariki watu. And now there is money in the Christian movement to do great things when in an orphanage. Sasa kutapatikana pesa nyingi katika kazi ya Mungu katika shule za mayatima mashule in missions katika umishonari and it starts with pastors believing God enough to first time and then teach their people inaanzia wachungaji sisi wenyewe to have a great vision for the work of God it must be supported by faithful giving of faith filled pastors kukua na maono ya hii kazi ya Mungu lazima tuwe na imani kwa kutoa and as africa learns to tithe ah pindi tu tunapojifunza afrika kutoa god will raise it up hallelujah mungu atafunua juu hallelujah it will not depend on america tusitegemee america jamani it will depend on the god of africa jesus tusitegemee mungu wa africa amen that's why i'm talking to you about time ndiposa mimi naongea nani this isn't about money hii si kuhusu pesa this is about faith ni imani. This is about the plan of God being fulfilled here in Kenya and Uganda and Rwanda and Burundi and South Africa and Zambia and wherever you're from. Huu ni mpango wa Mungu kwa nchi zote za Afrika. That's why it's so important. Ndio inakuwa ya maana. This is God's way of flourishing his church. Hii ni njia moja Mungu anapitia kuinua kanisa. And it starts with us pastors. Na inaanzia sisi wenyewe. And our faith. Na imani yetu. God bless you. Mungu awabariki sana. Oh, thank you. Asante.